Now I just gave you six great things you can do right now on your website to make it look favorable in Google's eyes and thus grow your traffic. But I've been saving the final biggest secret that will give you huge results when you implement it. And that is getting others to link to your website. Remember how I said getting Google traffic is split into two large categories? The specific things you can do on your website and the specific things you can do off of your website. Well, we address the things you can do on your website and getting people to link to your website is the major thing that you can do off your website. And this one actually is the easiest and arguably is the most powerful thing you can do. Well, when you read Google's academic literature, they introduced a simple concept that pretty much made them the billion dollar enterprise they are today. And that basically is this. We'll place higher value on a website that another website is willing to recommend. And we'll place an even higher value if the recommender is a credible website. See, Google wisely figured out that if a credible website like, say, the New York Times is willing to recommend their readers to your website, then that must mean that you are someone worth recommending to their customers. Well, this worked brilliantly. Just look at Google's stock price. It's pretty much because of that concept that they're the billion dollar enterprise they are today. So what does that have to do with you? Well, plenty. You see, in order to prove to Google that you deserve a top position, you must get other websites to link to you. See, it's a lot like voting. The more you can get, the better. But you should also be smart. While any vote in your favor can help, the smartest thing you can do is aim for a vote from the most credible or influential websites. And Google will make the same recommendation to their customers. It's simple. So how do you get a website to link to you? Well, you ask. You get on the phone, email, or whatever, and you make a request for a link, and if they accept, you want to be absolutely sure that the underlined blue link they use says something with your keywords or phrases in them. Now this is tremendously important. So your job is simply this. Find any and all, but especially the most credible websites to link to you. And I've provided a few you can use right away to get started directories. Go to Yahoo and find their directory. If you pay them a little, they will list you in their directory. Now this is different from their website, it's their directory. And when you pay them, you automatically get a link from them. Now what's a more credible website than Yahoo? Google has another website called Dmoz and you can look that up. These are directories. LookSmart is another directory and you can do a search for um, search engine directories that find a, a, lo a longer list. Okay, second is article directories. There are many websites out there that will syndicate your articles. So, so when you create a new web page on your website, you want to take that article and syndicate it through article directories. There's Article City, there's Go Articles, there's ezinearticles.com and a lot more. Just search for article directories and a lot of them are free. Third, blog sites. You want to find other websites that are blogs and ask them to link to you. Blog sites are pretty valuable in Google's eyes because they are updated frequently and Google likes websites that are updated frequently. So if you can get a link from blog sites that should help your website too. Also videos. If you create a video and you put it on YouTube, YouTube is a credible site and YouTube allows you to add a description of your video. 
Well, if you put a link back to your website from your video description, then that's a credible link. PR websites. Any type of PR will help. But if the PR article is displayed online and you can pay for these, you can pay for a PR article at PR Web and you can have them syndicate your PR piece. Okay? Form partnerships with big sites. As best as possible, find large companies, government sites, or any site that you deem is very credible and see if you can do some kind of an exchange with them for a link. Okay, finally, multiply your content throughout the net. There are a lot of places on the internet where you can take your website content and display them on other websites and a lot of those websites are 100% free. I'll give you a few off the top of my head. Hubpages.com is a very good website for that. Squidoo.com is a very good website for that. Um, and then you can look around but I've given you enough to get started. If you do these techniques I promise you they will help and if you do the it with the first technique I showed you to multiply the content on your website with new articles then it will have a compounding effect and as a result you'll get more traffic than you can stand. Finally one question you may be wondering through all of this is how do you get Google to even know you exist? Well after you do all of that stuff as long as Google can find you you will get added to their database. So the way you get Google to find you is to just simply get linked from a website that Google already knows. How can you do that? Well whoever you are about to do a link exchange or a link partnership with go to Google and just type their website in there and if they if you see any if you see any results come up in Google then you know that that's good. So do that, you'll get listing, and I promise you, you'll be surprised. Okay, that's it. You literally have a PhD in traffic generation from Google. Now, as you learn more about getting traffic from Google, you'll see that most additional strategies you'll learn are really just extensions of one or more of the strategies you know now. So hopefully that was valuable. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I read every single one and get most of my ideas for future videos here. Or you can send me an email at kyle at ambitupdate.com. In the next video, I'm going to show you some interesting shortcuts to do everything I've shown you so far even quicker, plus how you can finally end the need to rely 100% on a webmaster ever again. It's going to be a good one, so stay tuned.